Here's the bridge rectifier and filter capacitor of a Sanyo Denki PM driver, model PMM CS803-1. I'm going to apply 120 volts AC to the bridge rectifier. We're going to look across the filter capacitor. Now this should be about 170 volts DC, but look, we've only got 109.1 volts DC. Let's look at it with the oscilloscope. There's something wrong with that filter capacitor. The best way to look at it would be with the oscilloscope to see if it's filtering properly. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this capacitor is not filtering. We have rectification right there, but no filtering. Let me move the camera closer to the oscilloscope, and you can see what it looks like. Right here is ground, and at the peak of the rectified waveform is about 170 volts right there at the peak. Now that filter capacitor is not doing its job. The rectifier is working because we can see that the sine wave is being rectified to DC, but this should be a smooth 170 volts. DC. So we're going to have to change that filter capacitor. That filter capacitor is give up the ghost. <laughs> we get that, uh, that capacitor changed out and that'll fix this drive. Alright folks, it'll take a little while. We got to order that capacitor. But when we get it in, get this drive back together, we'll hook it up and run it. We'll see you then. Let's see what we got now. We have this new capacitor installed. 
just applied 120 volts AC to the AC input of the bridge rectifier. There we go, look at that. 172.9 volts DC across that bus capacitor. Let's look at it with this oscilloscope. Much better. We have good filtering now. The oscilloscope says that we have 171.8 volts DC across that bus capacitor. Nice. We'll put this drive back together. We'll be able to run it. Bad filtering. That'll make a motor run wrong. <laughs> So I got the function generator right here, providing the step input to the Sanyo Dinky stepper motor drive. Now here on the plus terminal, clockwise plus, I have to take five volts from an external power supply. And the ground of the external power supply goes back to the ground of the function generator. And the step, the Five volt step input from the function generator goes to clockwise minus terminal right here. The output to the stepper motor is on the AB phase terminals and the CD phase terminals. Let's see what we got there. There's the AB terminals. That looks good. And here is the CD terminals and they look the same as the AB terminals. Let me put the camera closer to the oscilloscope and you can see what's going on. Here's the AB terminals, the A and B phase to the stepper motor. And here we have a peak of almost 170 volts on the high side and 170 volts on the low side. That looks real good. It's 100 volts per division right here. Now we're not moving very fast. Only about 15 hertz right there. Let's go look at the CD terminals. They should look the same as the AB terminals. And that they do. Let's see how fast we can go before the drive shuts down. about 200 hertz on the function generator and that's 25.37 hertz on the phase C and D. Let me slow this down a little bit. That's very slow right there. Oh no. It doesn't like to go up to one kilohertz. like 200 hertz was the best we could do. I'm going to shut the drive down to reset it. About 200 hertz is the best I could do on the step input. Very fast running drive. All right, there you go, folks. We're done. It's fixed. <laughs> we fixed another one. <laughs> Let's head to the hooch.